What's up, prize fighters? I'm Brian Tong, and wireless earbuds are now a thing. So we're throwing two bad boys into the ring. It's a prize five punch out between Apple's $169 AirPods and Braggy's $149, the headphones. Like, they're actually called the headphones. So let's get it on. Round one is designed. Apple's design is hit or miss, depending on your taste. Now, I won't bash on them any more than I have. They aren't that bad, but let's just say they won't win any best design awards anytime soon. Now, the biggest miss, the AirPods are only one size. They either fit or they don't. That instantly eliminates people with a pre-existing genetic condition called large ear holes. Now, the braggy headphones just look better. They bring a more natural and subtle design, and surprise, they look like wireless earbuds. They also come with three different sizing tips, so you'll have options to get that perfect fit. This one's a no-brainer. Braggy takes round one. Next round is Bluetooth syncing. The Braggy headphones sync pretty easily. Hold down a button, go into your settings, and you're paired. Turn them on and they'll sync, and I had no problems at all. It's really what you expect from Bluetooth devices. But this is where Apple shines with syncing that is second to none with their W1 chip technology. No settings needed, just open up the case and you can pair them. Then whenever you open the case in the future, it instantly pairs without you having to press a single button. I'm not gonna lie, I'll back up Apple when they say it's like magic. And we've never seen better Bluetooth syncing from anyone ever. Apple takes round two, next up is features. Apple's AirPods giveth and taketh away with the most stripped down headphones you'll find. It's syncing is the best, that's no doubt. But when you take out the headphones, the music stops, pop it back in, and music plays. Now, AirPod controls are severely limited. You have the option to either tap one of your AirPods to prompt Siri, or pause and play music in the settings. But it's one or the other. You can't have both functions at the same time. Everything else you do will have to be done on your phone from adjusting the volume to changing tracks. You'll get used to this because you have to, but it's just not convenient to have to go to your phone all the time. Now the Braggy headphones bring everything you can think of on their earbuds thanks to physical buttons on the right earbud. You can change the volume from the earbuds, you can change tracks back and forth, your music will pause and play when you take them in and out of your ears, it can prompt the voice assistant for multiple phones, and it even has an ambient sound feature called audio transparency that lets you listen to the outside world while still hearing the music in your headphones. Now it's an interesting add-on, but at the same time, you could also just turn the volume down. I get what they're doing, but I just didn't really use it that much. Now the one drawback about all this functionality is that you have to put so much pressure on your ear when you're pushing on the buttons or holding them down for three seconds. I'll tell you right now, it's really uncomfortable and at times can hurt. Any wireless earbuds just need to have touch surface controls if I even want to consider them. But Braggy's premium Dash earbuds do if you're willing to take the next leap up and spend $249. Okay, onto the cases. The AirPods case also acts as a charging case. The AirPods get roughly five hours on their own, but the charging case gives you a full 24 hours of juice. Braggy's headphones give you about six hours of life, but the case, yeah, it has to be plugged into USB to charge them if you run out. There is no backup power at all when you're on the go. Both sides have their pluses and minuses, but Braggy takes round three with significantly more functionality built into the earbuds, even if it hurts. The final round that decides it all is quality. What matters when it comes to comparing headphones? The sound. And I'm here to tell you that the AirPods absolutely blow the Braggies out of the water with superior sound quality across the board. The AirPods don't sound significantly better than the wired Apple earbuds, but compared to the Braggies, it's not even close. Now the Braggies sounded more hollow with higher trebles, and for earbuds, the sound quality was average at best. AirPods just have a much fuller sound. When I made several calls with different people, they used many words to describe the Braggy sound quality, but none of them were good. Can you hear me okay? How does, how does it sound? So-so? Okay. It didn't sound nearly as clear, and it was instantly noticeable for people on the other line. Now the AirPods were just as good as someone holding up a phone right up to their mouth and everyone said they sounded great. The proof is in the pudding and the AirPods just sound better all around, taking round four. So let's break this down. The AirPods and Braggy both took two rounds each, but when you look at all the aspects of these earbuds, the sound quality and Bluetooth syncing just can't be ignored. And I'm calling it right now, the AirPods are your prize fight winner. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight. Woo-pah!